So cut out that stuff about up with the lot. Keep a loud knock, break your repose. Pretend you can't hear and crawl under the clothes. But when the sun shines and the birds gaily sing, then open your bonny blue eyes to the spring and call for the butlers and footmen to bring. Breakfast in bed, breakfast in bed, snuggle down warm till the papers you've read. Propped up with pillows, your joy is complete, with lovely fat bacon all staining the sheet. What was it Gladstone in 92 said? Give them home rule and their breakfast in bed. Britons, of course, shall not be slaves, for now it is Marcel who rules all the waves. Still just to live, somehow we try, cause death duties make it too costly to die. But gladly we'll pay all the taxes we can, for Baldwin is now thinking out a new plan to give every day to the poor working man. Breakfast in bed, breakfast in bed, fresh eggs and bacon or grilled ham instead, cafe au lait and some nice buttered rolls, then they can dress and pop round for their dolls. This was the reason why Russia turned red. The Tsar wouldn't give them their breakfast in bed. Oh, very good. Newspapers now pay lots of cash to folk who break limbs or come out in a wreck. Gladly they send fivers or notes to people who find they've a kidney that floats. So fill up the coupon and choose a disease from clergyman's throat down to house maiden's knees, or else get run over and then murmur, please. Breakfast in bed, breakfast in bed, the newspaper pays while you're doctored and fed. They send you ten pounds if you fracture your shins, or nuts and cigars if your wife should have twins. And then when you die, on the tombstone is red. Here lies a bloke what loves breakfast in bed. Breakfast in bed, breakfast in bed. About Mr. Drage in the papers you've read. Pop round and see him, then put up the band. The furniture comes in his lovely plain band. He lays all the lino quite free, it is said. And then lays the eggs for your breakfast in bed.